So, so one of the one of the issues I've been running into in the mornings on my commute to work on the train, and even on the way home, is I was I was really using the Apple earbuds, um, and they're great and all, but they're just not loud enough, especially as you're if you're walking through traffic or loud environments or whatever. Um, you'll note the the huge cans I have on to mm-hmm. to talk on this podcast. Um, and I, I, I've reviewed those as well before. So I needed something that was kind of the earbud, but high quality, but, and, and not as heavy as something like a full blown beats headset type thing. I needed something I could wrap up and put in my, my bag. Um, so I went out and grabbed the, uh, Bose, uh, sound true ultra in ear headphones, um, and the thing that I really like about them is the molding, and I'm going to try to put this up real close to the camera. Um, the molding is kind of like that has this half moon piece that kind of fits nicely up into your ear. And then this piece is a the, the actual piece that goes in in the your ear canal um, is kind of a, a flexible, flimsy um, piece of rubber or silicon that would kind of remind you of almost what an earplug would be. Like if you, if you sleep with earplugs in or shoot um, guns with earplugs in whatnot, um, this, it does have a uh, inline microphone. Um, I know you, you were saying that it didn't sound very great on, on here in comparison to these ginormous headphones that I have on with that are, can be recharged and are, um, noise cancellation but for for basic volume up down skip um taking a phone call I, i've had pretty good luck with these on the on the train ride on the way into work um where they really shine to me is the is the loudness if whether i'm on the treadmill or i'm i'm on the train in the morning i can easily hear when i'm trying to what while people are talking all around me maybe i'm just getting old um but I, I, I need it louder now. So, so the, they've definitely come in handy. I didn't go there. They run in the $150 price range uh, for these headphones. Um, so they are a bit pricey. You can go all the way up to the $200 price point where they do have the noise cancellation built into them. The one thing about the noise cancellation is then you have a power brick that you have to drag around because noise cancellation is battery powered. Um, and the whole point of going compact um, was something I was really interested in. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is they come with a nice little carrying case, which makes it easy to to drag them around. It also makes them kind of protected in my bag. Um, you probably don't want to be just willy nilly throwing around your hundred and fifty dollar ear earbuds. Um, but I will say they're they're super comfortable. I can wear them all day um, with with no discomfort, even these after, if I have to wear these for eight hours, um, they get a little, my head gets a little squeezed and I I find myself at probably hour seven or eight straight. I start getting a bit of a headache. I've worn these all day long. Um, and at hour 10, I'm there's, there's still no pain. So, uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with them, pretty happy with them so far. Like, like we were talking about, I wish the microphone was a little better. Um, but when it, when it comes to to um, just some some earbuds, um, obviously, mic the mic isn't the first most important uh, item on those. No, it really has to be just good enough for phone calls, right? Mm-hmm. So, Correct. like, there's there's not a lot of uh, fidelity kind of need for that, especially on something so small. Um, I, I don't know if they've really gone too far in that mic technology there. So, um, but yeah, that's, it, uh, sounds, looks like some good quality stuff. That, that's one service. If, if anyone knows of anything that I'd be interested in is I wish there was a service where I could call into it. And I guess you could kind of do this with your own voicemail if you were careful with how you did it. But I wish there was a service where I, when I'm doing headset tests, I could call in and it would automatically catalog what headset I had plugged in and it would do like a voice sample. So then I could go back and listen to it Mm -hmm. and see what the other people on the other end are experiencing. Right. Right. I feel like the, I feel like the price of those uh, headphones 
Uh, it, it's not bad because uh, it's I'm willing to spend money for comfortable earbuds. It's one thing that you stick those in your ear, and I have very, very uh, rigid cartilage in my ears. I have a uh, I have stiff ear syndrome, and when you stick those earbuds in your ears, especially the hard plastic ones, the pain is ex- is excruciating. So uh, I, that that looks really nice. I really like the the way that looks. It, it definitely just uh, from the video you were showing on your camera, Chilla, and. Uh, the advertisement Sorg was showing, it definitely looks like it would be something that wouldn't be so unbelievably painful because especially like a, a job like mine where sometimes I wear earbuds for eight, nine hours, sometimes 12 hours in a day because I work in a tomb and that's all you can do is listen to podcasts. <laughs> mm-hmm. That would be wonderful. Mm-hmm. And, and I've, been the same, I've had over ears and, and eight hour days I'm sitting editing oh, yeah. all day long, you know, and, and they get, there's, there's, there's a bit to them. The, the Apple ones are actually fairly comfortable like the, the they're newer not bad ones, like like I, that's typically what i grab for and i have a couple of pairs um but no i, I usually pretty do pretty good by those uh but, but i'm usually kind of stopping moving stopping moving after a couple hours at least i try to so it, the, the problem i found with the apple ones was in a in a very noisy environment i just couldn't get and it actually was podcasts more than phone calls the mm. phone calls were or loud enough. It was the podcasts hmm. where it, I just couldn't, uh, if a train drove by or a loud siren went by, I couldn't, I couldn't hear. And with these, the, the plastic is soft and I, I don't want to say flimsy because to me, flimsy kind of makes it sound cheap. Um, but the, the, uh, the, the, the bows are perfect. Oh, check them out. Uh, here's my problem. Um, I will lose these. <laughs> and that's why I don't spend money on, on earbuds, especially. Like, I can tell you where two out of my three pairs are. And I'm not entirely sure where my skull candy is right now. Probably in that bag. 